Welcome to I Have Issues, a comic book show where I talk about comic book related subjects that can piss me off or annoy me to some degree. And oh boy, do we have a big one today! Let's get started with talking about one of my favorite comic book superheroes of all time, Venom. Venom as a character has gone through a lot. Originally, it was Eddie Brock, disgraced journalist who blamed Spider Man for all of his problems, who then turned supervillain when he bonded with what later became known as the Venom symbiont. They did various crimes like murder before the suit was eventually passed on. The symbiont has gone through several hosts, including bonding with the supervillain known as Scorpion, aka Matt Gargan, for some time. Eventually, it found its best host, creating the best Venom that made him my favorite superhero, Flash Thompson. Working as Agent Venom for the U.S. government, Flash took on the role of Venom for a long time, Eddie Brock being the only person, I think, to have it longer. He fought beside several big-name Marvel heroes, joined the Guardians of the Galaxy for a short time, and even started his own team of spacefaring superheroes. Venom Space Knight and the Guardians books that led up to it are some of my favorites. The Guardian books because they explain the retcon lore of the Venom symbiont and where it came from, and the Space Knight comics because it showed my favorite character becoming my favorite hero. Rising higher than he ever had before, right before Marvel tore him out of the sky, stomped him into the dirt, and ripped Flash and the symbiont apart. Contriving a way for Eddie Brock to get the symbiont back, it led into their terrible Venom-based event comic, which is what I'm here to talk about. Last year, Marvel created two major storylines involving Venom, Venomverse and Venomized. Venomverse is what I'm here to talk about because it is beyond almost any level of stupid I've seen in a while. Basic story, like with Spider-Man, there are multiple Venoms throughout the Marvel multiverse. This story is meant to bring a bunch of them together. In another universe, a version of Doctor Strange became Venom, with all of his magic power intact. While doing his sorcerer thing, Strange discovered creatures that came to be known as poisons, tiny white skeletal creatures that evolved to the point that they were the perfect host for the Venom symbiote, and only the Venom symbiote. Once bonded, they can draw out its full power, but at the cost of sacrificing any sort of consciousness the symbiote had, making it the perfect weapon, but nothing more. We also learned that when the poisons take over a Venom symbiont, they take part of the host. See, the poisons need organic matter to facilitate the bonding process. They devour the host of Venom to take it over, while absorbing part of the host's mind so that they have some of their personality. Oh, and did I mention that they just need to touch you? No grand ceremony or complicated process, just that if the poisons touch you, they take over. Nothing you can do about it. Strange decided he needed help fighting them, so he went about gathering Venoms from across the multiverse to help in the fight. All of the Venom summoned are bonded to other heroes. We see Captain America, Spider-Man, Rocket Raccoon, Black Panther, Ant-Man, and a bunch of others bonded to a Venom symbiont. And by now, you probably figured out the problem this is leading to. When the Poisons take over a superhero who are also Venom, they not only get Venom and the personality of the hero, they also get the hero's powers. The first we see of that is Poisoned Hulk, because things weren't bad enough already. As the comic goes on, Venom's being picked off one by one, we learn their goal. They want to capture Doctor Strange because his magic would let them universe hop so that their entire race could have a superpowered Venom host to devour. And if that's the case, and all the Venoms know that all it takes for them to lose is to touch the thing they're fighting, I have a very simple question. Why the fuck did Doctor Strange think summoning more Venoms would solve the problem? They know that symbionts are what they feed on. They know that touching them is bad. And Strange especially knows that there are other types of heroes in the multiverse. Why summon more Venoms? Hell, why not just shoot the damn things? They're fragile little skeleton monsters. I could kill them with a stick. Hell, this problem is a plot point later. Strange gets captured and the poisons flat out tell him that all he's done is feed them. And Strange is shocked by the revelation. You knew how these things worked. What broke in your brain to convince you that summoning the one thing these creatures wanted somehow would be a good idea? Hell, it doesn't make a lot of sense after that point. The poisons are shown to only be able to consume Venom, but if they're from Venom Strange's universe, how did they expect to survive on the one Venom? It can't be that they were universe hopping for Venoms already, because then they wouldn't have needed Doctor Strange. This comic makes no freaking sense. None of this should have happened, but it did because everyone is a freaking idiot. <sighs> Honestly, it just feels like one big cash grab for Marvel, more so than the average event comic. Like, they saw how well the Spider-Verse series worked out, so they wanted to try it again with a new character that was still kind of connected to the old story, just to ease fans into it. And that might have worked had the story not been crap. I'll be honest, this comic leads into Venomize, which resolves the Poison storyline apparently, but I really don't care. After how crap this was, I have no desire to read that story. I mean, I probably will eventually because I care about Venom and I want to see what happens to him, but I hope to God that they get a better writer for this stuff. Venom deserves better, the fans deserve better, and Marvel owes it to themselves to write a better story. That's it for me. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you come back next time. And as always, have yourselves a fantastic day. And I'll see you then.